but gaze beyond our solar system to the next nearest star, Proxima Centauri, and that's 24 trillion miles away, which sounds a lot, but in space terms, it's our neighbour. That's where a planet has been discovered, orbiting around it. And the reason scientists are so excited is that this alien world is the closest there is outside our own solar system. It's been called Proxima b. It's slightly larger than Earth, and although its star is much cooler than our sun, the planet is in just the right zone for liquid water to exist on its surface. And that means that, in theory, it could support life. Some exciting news now, because scientists say they've found a planet orbiting the closest star outside our solar system, and they say Proxima b, which is about four light years away, is a rocky globe that could have enough surface water to support life. This is the nearest planet that potentially um, can have life and can, have, um, can be, in a sense, similar to our own planet. So I think that, that that's a big discovery. There, there are hundreds of planets being discovered now every month, but this is a really special one. That's the nearest one. This, will ha this happened once, will not happen again. And the new planet. Scientists excited tonight about a new Earth-like planet found circling the star that is nearest to our sun. An artist's rendering tonight of what it might look like. They say the planet may have water and ocean. So it's the news that has astronomers rather excited, the discovery of an Earth-like planet. Scientists have discovered an Earth-like planet that's not too far away, at least in cosmic terms. It's the closest planet to our solar system and the most important discovery in more than 20 years, as it could be able to sustain life. We have no clue whether this planet has an atmosphere or not, whether it has water or not, but the existence of it is actually plausible. Just now, the James Webb Telescope gave us the best look ever at Proxima b, a planet close to us. This new photo shows a place resembling Earth but full of dangers, like bad radiation and big temperature changes. It sits in a zone that could have water, making us wonder if life could be there. With this exciting photo, one big question comes up. Could life survive on Proxima b? Tune in as we dive into this shocking mystery, one that might reveal an alien civilization, ready to take over and change our world forever. Scientists are searching for planets like Earth, and one of the most promising ones they've found is Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to us. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have a clearer picture of this planet. It looks a bit like Earth, but there are also big differences. The planet orbits the star Proxima Centauri, which is over four light years away. That's not a distance we can cover with current technology, but there are plans for future missions that could get us closer. While examining new data, scientists detect a mysterious signal from Proxima b, hinting at alien life. As we learn more about it, we face both exciting possibilities and big challenges. While it's close enough for us to consider exploring, its environment is extreme and difficult to survive in. But that's not the worst part. It has some characteristics that raise serious questions about whether life could exist there, and we still have a lot to learn. This planet completes an orbit around its star in 11.2 Earth days, meaning it's very close to Proxima Centauri. What's even more fascinating is that it lies in the habitable zone of its star. This zone is the area around a star where conditions might allow for liquid water, which is essential for life as we know it. This fact has sparked a lot of excitement among scientists and the general public. This delicate balance, where some factors make it seem perfect for life, but others could make it unlivable, is what makes this planet so intriguing. Another big problem is that it is likely tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet always faces the star, while the other side remains in darkness. So, while one side could be extremely hot, the other side could be freezing cold. Still, even with these extreme conditions, the debate continues about whether life could exist there. While it might seem like a harsh place, this planet forces us to rethink what we know about where life can survive. And that's not all. New technology, like the telescope and a tool called the Espresso Spectrograph, has made it easier for us to study distant worlds like this one. These instruments help us understand the planet's physical characteristics better and even give us clues about whether life might be possible there. There's also an exciting project called Starshot that aims to send tiny probes to Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to us, 
To learn more about planets like this one, this project shows how committed we are to exploring space and discovering whether life exists beyond Earth. However, the trip to this planet is far from easy, yet human innovation always finds ways to push boundaries and explore the unknown. The scale of the Starshot initiative is huge. To launch these probes, we would need as much energy as the entire United States uses, but only for about 10 minutes. Once in space, the probes would travel for two decades before reaching Alpha Centauri. And when they finally get there, they'd have about two hours to collect all the data they need, sending it back to Earth. That data would take another four years to reach us, making communication across such vast distances extremely challenging. But the potential rewards are equally massive. Successfully exploring this planet could change how we see ourselves and our place in the universe. We might learn more about how planets outside our solar system form and evolve, and whether life exists elsewhere. The knowledge gained from this mission would give us a deeper understanding of planets like Earth and help us answer one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? As we dream of new planets, we push the limits of what's possible how we plan to explore distant planets quickly. Yet, with exploration comes responsibility. If we ever decide to visit or even colonize other planets, we'll have to consider important ethical questions. What are our responsibilities when it comes to exploring and potentially changing another planet's environment? How can we make sure we don't harm or disrupt any potential life forms there, no matter how simple they might be? But this isn't the biggest challenge we'll face. The very act of exploring this planet represents the beginning of a new chapter in humanity's search for understanding. Its Earth-like qualities give us hope, but its harsh conditions remind us of the significant hurdles ahead. The tools we're using, like the telescope and other advanced instruments, are helping us uncover more than we ever thought possible about it. The initiative shows how determined we are to reach beyond our limitations and explore distant worlds, helping us understand what makes a planet suitable for life. Humanity's desire to explore the unknown continues to drive us forward, even when the road ahead seems impossible. As we explore not only distant planets like this one, but also immense black holes at the centers of galaxies, including our own Milky Way, we are diving into some of the deepest mysteries of the universe. It's amazing how something as powerful as a black hole can stay hidden in the very fabric of space, offering us just a glimpse of the universe's most profound secrets. Super string theory deals with the smallest parts of the universe, and it might help us understand strange things that normal science struggles with. For instance, it could explain the weird nature of black holes, which challenge our understanding of gravity and quantum mechanics. By studying black holes using the theory, scientists hope to answer big questions about how the universe is structured and how it all began. But studying black holes isn't easy. These massive objects are invisible to regular observation tools because they don't give off light. Scientists have to rely on indirect methods, like watching how nearby stars and gas behave around them, which makes the research more difficult and uncertain. Plus, the theory itself is complex. It says that the smallest parts of matter aren't tiny dots but vibrating strings. This theory tries to combine Einstein's general relativity with quantum mechanics, which is a tough challenge in physics. The theory also suggests there are 10 dimensions, six more than the three dimensions of space and one of time that we experience every day. These extra dimensions are thought to be so tightly compact that we can't see or measure them directly, making it hard to prove they exist. On top of that, theoretical ideas like wormholes Tunnels through space-time that might connect different parts of the universe add more challenges. Wormholes are unstable and nearly impossible to study, which makes their existence even harder to confirm. This means that much of what we know about black holes and related topics is still just theory. We rely on advancements in both theoretical physics and observational technology to help us understand them better. The theory even offers a new version of the Big Bang, suggesting our universe might have come from a collision or some sort of cosmic birth from another universe. It proposes that wormholes could be tunnels between different realms of space and time. If wormholes are real and stable, 
They could change how we think about the universe, perhaps even revealing that black holes are gateways to other dimensions. But here's a mind-bending idea. Could our entire universe be inside a black hole that's part of a much larger universe? This would turn our basic ideas about beginnings and existence upside down. As we dig deeper into these cosmic mysteries, we continue to push the boundaries of what we know. Our curiosity only grows, driving us to learn more about the universe. One of the stars that scientists have been closely watching is Betelgeuse, which has recently shown dramatic changes in brightness. This has caught the attention of astronomers and led to speculation that it might soon explode into a supernova. These brightness changes challenge what we know about stars and bring us closer to witnessing a rare and exciting event that could light up the sky for weeks. The recent increase in its brightness, seen by the telescope, highlights the dynamic changes happening in its life cycle. This star, which is in the Orion constellation, used to shine steadily, but now it's much brighter, making it a standout feature in the night sky. This change isn't small. It points to big shifts in the star's temperature, size, or the energy it's giving off, showing just how unpredictable stars like it can be. As it shines brighter, it draws more attention from both casual stargazers and scientists. Every small shift in its behavior is being carefully observed, helping us learn more about the life cycles of stars. With tools like the telescope, we're gaining valuable insights into how stars evolve, giving us a clearer picture of the universe and offering stargazers a dazzling display in the night sky. When we study stars and other celestial bodies in the vast universe, we realize that what we know is just a small piece of a much bigger picture. Often, what we expect to see in space doesn't always match the reality of what's actually happening out there. Take neutrinos, for example, tiny particles that weigh almost nothing and are often overlooked. These particles, however, play a big role in the life of a star. As a star like it nears the end of its life and gets ready to explode into a supernova, it's not just light that tells us something big is about to happen. Neutrinos, which rarely interact with other matter, may be the first sign that it is about to become a supernova, giving us an early warning before we can see anything with our eyes. When a supernova starts and the core of the star collapses under its own gravity, neutrinos are released in huge amounts. These particles can escape the star's core almost instantly and travel through space nearly as fast as light. This means neutrinos can reach Earth hours or even days before the light from the supernova arrives, as the light takes longer to push through the exploding layers of a star. A distant star's end might soon light up our night sky, the dark future of our night sky. For scientists, catching these neutrinos is more than just proof that it has become a supernova. It gives them valuable clues about what's happening inside the star at its final stage. All around the world, Observatories like Super Cameo Candy in Japan and the Ice Cube Observatory in Antarctica are on the lookout for these hard-to-catch particles. Detecting neutrinos from it would be a huge achievement, only the second time it's ever been done. The first time was in 1987, when neutrinos from Supernova 1987A were detected, giving scientists important information about how massive stars end their lives. But the neutrinos aren't the only thing we're watching. As its brightness changes and it behaves unpredictably, astronomers are waiting for the moment these particles will give us an early sign. When that happens, the scientific community will leap into action, with telescopes all over the world ready to capture every detail of the explosion. Its supernova, if it happens soon, would be one of the most significant astronomical events of our time. Even after its light fades, the data collected, especially from neutrinos, will make a lasting impact on what we know about the stars. But here's the thing. The impact of a supernova isn't just about what scientists can study. Imagine stepping outside and seeing something brighter than Venus in the night sky, so bright it could cast shadows at night. That's what could happen when it explodes, and it's not a scene from a science fiction movie. It's a very real possibility that could happen soon. Jupiter, the giant planet, recently added two more moons to its already large group. Every time we discover new moons, it helps scientists learn more about how planets and moons grow 
and change in our solar system. After Jupiter, attention shifted to Saturn, one of the most stunning planets known for its beautiful rings and many moons. To study it closely and get important information, the spacecraft had to make a very careful move. This wasn't just to show off engineering skills. It was to avoid a possible crash with Titan, Saturn's largest moon. As the spacecraft flew by it, it found four more moons, expanding our knowledge of the planet's reach. It also sent back detailed pictures of the rings, giving scientists the best look ever at their structure. By the year 1990, Voyager 1, the famous spacecraft, moved from exploring our solar system to venturing into the vast unknown of space beyond it. This wasn't just a small change. It was a huge step into areas we had never explored before, driven by our natural curiosity and hunger for discovery. One of Voyager 1's greatest achievements was capturing a family photo of our solar system from a distance of 6 billion kilometers away. In this photo, all the planets look like tiny dots against the endless blackness of space. This humbling image reminds us just how small we are in the universe and how important it is to take care of Earth, the only home we have. But this wasn't the most surprising decision. After this breathtaking photo, NASA made the emotional choice to turn off its cameras. This allowed the mission to focus less on taking pictures and more on collecting and sending important data as it journeyed further into deep space. Now, without its cameras, it quietly moves through the heliosphere, the edge of the sun's reach, and into the space between stars. Its voyage has greatly expanded our knowledge of both our solar system and the mysterious space beyond. By the year 2012, something truly amazing happened. It officially left our solar system and entered interstellar space. This wasn't just a technical win. It was a historic moment for humankind. We had sent our first spacecraft into the unknown space beyond our solar neighborhood. When NASA made the announcement in 2013, people around the world were excited as it marked a giant leap in exploring the limits of space. But that wasn't the biggest surprise. Today, even though it runs on technology from the 1970s, it still sends back valuable information from beyond our solar system. Every signal it sends now takes two days to reach Earth showing just how far it has traveled. This delay doesn't only show the growing physical distance. It reminds us how fragile the connection is as it moves further away. It's a symbol of both the vastness of space and the challenge of keeping in touch with humanity's most distant object. As it continues its lonely journey, it reflects our own endless search for knowledge in the universe, reminding us of both the mysteries of space and our desire to explore it. Recent studies show some interesting changes happening in it, hinting that the star might be getting closer to a huge explosion called a supernova. Astronomers, using advanced tools, have noticed that it is no longer keeping its usual round shape. Instead, it looks a bit uneven, which might mean there's a lot going on inside the star. These shape changes are important because they could be a sign that the star is getting ready for a supernova. But even with these clues, Figuring out exactly when it will explode is still really tough. Inside a giant star like this, there's a complicated mix of nuclear reactions, gravity, and energy flows. Knowing the exact moment when the star's core will collapse and lead to an explosion is still a big question for scientists. To make things harder, stars like it change over incredibly long periods, sometimes taking thousands or even millions of years. So... While these current signs point to the star's eventual explosion, they don't tell scientists enough to circle a date on the calendar for when it will happen. As we explore the mysterious planet Proxima b, we face a big question. Is it okay to risk harming another planet just for the sake of discovery? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments.